With Houdini you can create amazing VFX, smoke, explosions, fire, some random simulations that you might not even think exist, but you can do this with Houdini. And to do all of that, you just have to connect simple boxes to each other, which are called nodes, and everything comes together that easy. Except it does not, because this is the most complex 3D software in the entire world. On this channel we have also used quite a lot of notes, so let's see if my five years of Blender expertise will help me guide through the amazing forest of Houdini. Whatever we come up with in the end, I'm gonna send to a real Houdini artist for feedback, so let's see what, what comes out. So let's open up Houdini and it opens up actually the same way than Blender does, so they're pretty easy in that sense, but Houdini opens up massively slower than Blender. They say the first impression from people comes up in like seven seconds, Houdini definitely opened up slower than that. Blender gets one point, Houdini gets zero because Houdini is just very slow it seems. First thing that seems to me is missing here is the default cube, so let's add the default cube. Empty network, press tab to add objects. Okay, tab. Ah, okay. It's easier than in Blender. In Blender you have to press shift A. So let's give one point to Houdini for a shorter shortcut. So let's add a cube. I'm gonna... Ah, it has a cube, right? Look at that. We have a cube. It seems to be like the normal default cube. The navigation... Ah. The navigation is so weird here. Left click for like moving to viewport seems okay, but I can get used to it actually, it's not so bad. So let's see what else we have here. Hmm, okay, up here we have uh, lights and cameras, collisions, particles. This sounds interesting because in Blender we have only a very sad collection of simulations. <laughs> so, um, terrain object. Vellum. Vellum is for clothes, I know that. You can simulate uh, clothes with vellum. Vellum balloon. Let's try the balloon. I pressed on the balloon and something happened here. Autodop network. I don't know what that means at all. Okay, there is like the Vellum object, which is what? If I press the I button here, it's gonna hide this probably. Okay, the cube is the Vellum object. So there is the Vellum solver, merge, and gravity. Oh my god. You can add gravity as a node. In Blender, we're just gonna click simulate, and that's all you can do. It seems to be the correct number, so let's simulate this cube is gone somewhere. That's logical because I don't have like a collider object. I need to add a collider object below the cube so that it doesn't uh, fall into the abyss. Collisions, ground plane. Let's add a ground plane. Let's simulate this now. Ah, I can see it. It was like a bit of... Yeah. Oh, I can move this in real time. Oh, that's great. Yeah, look at that. This looks so cool. No, 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 don't go over the border. I need you to be here with me in this difficult situation. Bound. Let's try this with a pig's head. I know that Houdini, like the principal object is a pig's head instead of a monkey head in Blender. I think it's a bit scary, <laughs> the smile and all that. This is like in the in this Saw movies, I think there is like this one character. Let's make a balloon out of this pig head. A vellum balloon. Now let's test out some explosions because I asked you what should I explode with Houdini and you asked me to explode a nice egg, teapot, your graphics card, my creativity. <laughs> 3D models of logos of all the lesser CG softwares like Maya, Cinema 4D, Houdini, ZBrush, basically everything that isn't Blender. That's hateful. Donut, a default cube, Ice Age baby. Everybody's so violent. Dogs. Okay. So to explode something, we have to first uh, see how explosions work. Which one do you think we should use? Um, this one seems a bit cool. <laughs> it's only 200 kilobytes and looks pretty, pretty awesome, I think. Can I play this simulation? Why doesn't this work? Oh, it's working, you see. The thing I like about Houdini is that you actually can see what, what it's doing. Cooking up ground explosion, past zero, five, sub steps, uh, whatever. It's a lot better than in Blender, you're just gonna wait and after two hours to see it has crashed. So I think it's time for another point to Houdini for showing us actually what it's doing. What is happening in the oven? What is cooking right now? 51 frames of Houdini simulations. Let's see how this looks. If anybody knows how to turn down the exposure, this would be greatly appreciated because I have no idea why this looks like that. We have to see how the explosion works so that I can make my own explosion and blow up all of those things. Uh, render cam top net. The names in Houdini are so cryptic. What is a top net? Look at those names here. Chop, cop, lob, shop, rob, top, wop. Is this Pepsi? This doesn't mean anything to me. For a beginner, this can be something really harassing. Oh no, I cannot understand anything what's happening here. Rob fetch. What is a rob fetch? It seems I have to restart everything just by scratch because this explosion doesn't give me literally... I don't understand what's going on. Look at that. This is like inside of a Unix kernel. Let's open up a new file. Let's make our own explosion. Okay, so if I want to create an explosion in Blender, I have to add a domain and all that stuff. In Houdini, I probably have to add 
catch up top not wop whatever networks i don't know what these even are so let's try with presets collisions particles grains sparse fireball aerial explosion ground explosion so why is there no like explode an object you want me to explode the default cube and then under this modeling there was um chatter bam can I add some noise to those things so that I can blow those up with a force field afterwards? Probably have to add some wop stops and attribute crops, but I don't know how this stuff works. Houdini is hard. Houdini is really hard. There are so many nodes here. Found the thing. Fan force. Speaking of fan force, I wanted to reach 25,000 subscribers and you were forceful enough to help me reach that, so thank you. Is this shattered? Cube gonna be the thing I'm gonna make in Houdini. What? Like, you can do this in Blender with Cellar Fracture. I'm feeling a bit sad. Houdini Explode Object uh, Tutorial. Shout out to uh, Resilient Picture Company for creating a tutorial. Let's see how this works. Oh, this looks cool. I want to do something like that. I want to explode the default cube and the donut like that. I'm gonna try to follow this tutorial. Mm, let's see if something is gonna work out for me. So I spent an hour trying to follow this tutorial and I guess it's ready. I'm gonna press play and it's gonna explode any minute. So you asked me to explode the donut. Just press play and the donut explodes. You asked me to explode a default cube. Use this as an input and the node tree makes it explode. For the final, the most important thing, you asked me to explode a Donkey Kong. So here is a Donkey Kong, Donkey, a Donkey Kong. Let's start this uh, gory madness. So I rendered out the version with the donut. Let's send this animation to a Houdini artist right now. I don't even think this needs some feedback from an artist because what can you improve there? My first Houdini project has to go to my demo reel. This is what I was telling you. This is some pro next top whatever level stuff <laughs> right here. And that's that's coming from a professional. What do you think about Houdini after using this for exactly three and a half hours? I think, and I'm pretty sure others think too, that it's a powerful program. I mean, it's powerful, there is no denial. Bit hard to use because all the names of things are a bit cryptic. But yeah, it's it's very customizable. So you can literally go inside of a rigid body simulation, change out the physics constraints, a lot better than in Blender. Blender is a bit uh, is a bit more user friendly. Not a bit. It's a lot more user friendly. And the lighting, rendering, and material side is a lot more understandable. I can grasp a lot more what I'm doing right now. And this was it. Three and a half hours, and this was rough. See you next time.